Hello fellow gamers, Nova Joe back again, this time with a uh, request from one of my subscribers. Uh, my subscriber wanted me to uh, do a let's play of Monster Attack for the PS2. Uh, for those of you who are new to this and haven't seen or ever heard of Monster Attack before, Monster Attack is technically the very first game in the EDF series. It's technically EDF1. <clears throat> Monster Attack was released in... Japan and Europe um, it was called a different name in Japan but in Europe it was called Monster Attack and so that's what I'm gonna call it here uh, anyway guys it's part of the Simple Series uh, the Simple Series was a bunch of budget games that uh, were released back in the 2000s as you can see on the screen here this was released in 2003 uh, Monster Attack is well you're getting ready to see some of the gameplay here of it Monster Attack is just like any other EDF game. You have, uh, uh, only this time you only have one character to play as. You have the soldier. And as the soldier you can accumulate weapons, accumulate armor, and just kill tons and tons of bugs. This game has significantly less missions than any of the other EDF games. I want to say it's in the 20s. I have not beat this yet. So this is going to be a, a new experience for for all of us here as uh, I go through well new experience for me and new experience for those of you who've never seen Monster Attack or played it um, we're gonna play through Monster Attack we're gonna do a let's play series for it um, so guys if you have any questions about it anything you are curious about or wanna see uh, just feel free to leave it in the comments below and uh, let's jump into this Published by D3. I love seeing D3 publishing on things. Usually that means it's going to be a game that's uh, up my alley. And as you can see here, guys, I got the Japanese version. So I had to play around with it a little bit till I figured out exactly I figured out exactly what the, the options were and the controls were. And the controls were drastically different from the way they're set up on like the PS3 or PS4. They are significantly different. Uh, and I am going to go ahead and load my save file here. And I've only beat um, a few of the missions and accumulated like two or three weapons. But I wanted to go ahead and, and play. I'm going to play for mission one, but I'm going to use the one or two weapons I got. They're not super big weapons or anything. But it'll let me do these let's plays a little bit quicker so you're not stuck on here for uh, an hour. Because <laughs> I know a lot of you just don't have time for that. So anyway, as you can see here, this, this option starts the game. Uh, this takes you to your inventory where you can pick two weapons, like always. Um, I can't translate, so I just have to goof around with it until I figure out what it is. Obviously, these are hand grenades, and this is their grenade launcher section. And there's the machine guns. I'm going to assume that's probably shotgun, maybe sniper rifle. But we'll figure out as we go along. Let's get into this. We're going to start at mission one. Well, I'm playing, I'm just going to keep it on normal. If you want, I'll let the cutscenes play out. For this video, I'll let the cutscenes play out. Um, if you want me to skip the cutscenes in future videos, just leave that in the comments below, and, and I'll skip them if you want me to. Yeah, and this is, that's what the dropships look like in EDF-1 and EDF-2, which I do have for the Vita. But um, I, I might do a little mini review of it, but obviously... You know what? I do have a Vita TV, so I guess I could do a, a Let's Play of, um, of EDF-2 on the Vita. So if you all want to see that, let me know in the comments below. All right, now what y'all will first notice is this game has significant slowdown compared to the other ones. But then again, they tried to shove an EDF game into the PlayStation 2. And while the PlayStation 2 uh, took it in stride, it, it had some difficulty. <laughs> it had some difficulty, that's for sure. And if those of you are interested in picking this up for your PlayStation 2, which by the way, you'll have to have a modded PlayStation 2 or 
have a Japanese PlayStation 2, which is what I have. Um, this is volume 31 of the Simple Series, I believe. Um, I will, I'll double check that for you, but I'm pretty sure it's volume 31 of the Simple Series. Yeah, this gun I have here, this second gun, this grenade launcher, it almost, I think it's like poison rounds or something. I don't think they have poison rounds in, uh, or poison grenade launchers in any of the other, or an EDF 4.1 or EDF 2025 that I can recall. There we go, killed a few of the ants off and it speeds up a little bit. Like I was saying earlier there, the controls are significantly different uh, when you first start up this game. You have uh, just a really weird, I don't even know how to say it, but it's not intuitive at all. This really crazy control setup. But thankfully there is an option to set it up where it is really, really close to being just like 4.1 or 2025. And so that's a really nice thing where R1 shoots, uh, L1 causes you to dive and slide, things of that nature. Uh, one of the weird things is that R2 uh, is what switches your weapon. Okay, so I've got three new weapons here. Looks like two new assault rifles and SG4. Shotgun? I think that's a shotgun. All right, let's... There we go. Um, also, armor in this game, if I am remembering correctly, armor is the equivalent of picking up four boxes. Or, uh, it's four, each armor box is four points, if I remember correctly. So you armor up quite, quite fast in this game. All right, let's go ahead and try out some of the newer weapons. Let's see. This one does, I guess, 200 rounds at 30 damage, maybe? I can't... Or a hundred or two hundred round total, thirty in the magazine, five damage. I don't know. Oh, and here we go. That's one of the bigger ones. It only has uh, ten rounds total, and does sixty points of damage. I'm going to go with this one. All right, let's go down here. Let's change this up. Let's see what SG4. I'm pretty. Yeah, that's a shotgun. Fifteen by ten. That's a shotgun. But we'll go ahead and use it. All right. Let's get into mission two. And you got your tanks, which you can't call in any weaponry in this game. Yeah, you can't, you can't, there are no air raiders in this game. There's no wing divers, anything of that nature. It's just, it's just ranger. It's just ranger and uh, some vehicles that they scatter out throughout the level, which, which are okay. Um, this the vehicles are the same vehicles you'll see in EDF2. Uh, they don't have much health. They don't last very long. And nine times out of ten, I don't think they're used very much by anybody. I know I don't like using them. Because half the time when you go to use them, they get destroyed within seconds. Like uh, with this herd of ants coming around, they usually will destroy it within seconds. Oh, all right, let's switch over. Oh, yeah, shotgun. There we go. Frame rate's actually not too bad this time. Um, it was, well, then again, there's next to, <laughs> there's next to no ants on the screen. And it was chugging there at the beginning, but, you know, you kill a few of them off and the frame rate picks back up. All right, we got a few here. There is no reload. You just your gun reloads when your magazine's empty. Same way a uh, 2017 was, if I remember correctly. Oh, missed that armor. Uh, we got a new weapon. It looks to be a sniper rifle. Alright, let's let's go ahead and get into the next mission.
There we go, chugging again. But you know what, guys? I really don't mind it. Yeah, the frame rate's dropping, but you guys know how EDF is. It's fun. Frame rate low or not, it is fun. Just killing these bugs is just so satisfying. <laughs> I had an EDF moment at, at my house here the other the other day. We were replacing our carpet with wood floor. And so one day I, I was here by myself and um, I tore all the carpet up because we were, my stepdad's really good about this stuff and he was gonna come over and help put the, uh, the wood floor down. So anyway, I was here by myself one day and I decided to, uh, I decided I was going to go ahead and tear the carpet and the padding all up. Well, lo and behold, it wasn't shortly after I tore the carpet up and got all the padding up and was just staring at bare floors that we did not get invaded by a mob of ants. It took everything we had to kill those ants. I wish there was a, uh, I wish you could call EDF, have them come in. <laughs> but then again, I didn't want them to level my house. So, yeah, it was, it was me going to Walmart buying two different kinds of ant bait to try to try to thin them out thankfully I was able to thankfully we were able to get rid of them oh man this has been a perfect time for me to have brought that grenade launcher in I don't know how I'm gonna get those ants off there maybe I can maybe they'll start coming down once I shoot a few of their buddies alright Come on down, ants. Actually feels really good playing a, another EDF game. I played 4.1 till I've pretty much done just about everything I care to do on it. And was looking for some new missions and things, or well, didn't realize I was looking for new missions. <laughs> but started playing this and realized, man, I'm, I'm actually having a lot of fun. Even though this is even though this is the beginning game in the series, it's still just as much fun as uh, playing a lot of the other EDF games. I think a lot of the charm is in uh, how the enemies react to being shot. They don't just disappear and turn into dust and like uh, Insect Armageddon. Oh, that was one of my biggest pet peeves with Insect Armageddon was how when you killed an enemy, it just vaporized just vaporized I was watching a review on insect Armageddon on YouTube the other day and this guy who was reviewing the game he praised that feature he loved the fact that the ants didn't stay behind that they just uh, evaporated just as soon as you killed them I, I, I couldn't believe it just because it when they I know they disappear in this game and they disappear in the other games but there's just something so satisfying about seeing ant parts flying through the air and piles of ants lined up all over the place it just it's just so satisfying you you see the fruits of your labor <laughs> but yeah lo and behold he was he was praising the game for making the enemies evaporate as soon as you kill them now don't misunderstand me about insect armageddon i didn't hate the game as a third person action game it was okay as an EDF game it was not an EDF game it didn't feel like an EDF game it wasn't enjoyable like an EDF game and so yeah I mean it just I like the game for being a third person shooter and it being kind of fun but it was not an EDF game at all it did not have the satisfaction that a true EDF game produced by Sandlot brings. I mean, look at that. That's a fruit of my labor right there. Big dead ant laying in the middle of the street. Another thing I, I believe that is so addicting about Earth Defense Force is, is the weapons, just the weapon pickups. Oh my gosh, it is so fun just killing all these bugs and then grabbing those green boxes, getting to the end of the, the mission, and just getting kind of, I don't know how to word it other than to say that 
deep down inside, whether you realize it or not, you're a little bit giddy to see that results screen. Just to see if any of them say new. <laughs> and I think that's what makes uh, EDF so much fun when you first start playing it. Is the fact that when you first start playing an EDF game, every time you beat a mission, you got something new. Always something new. Alright. Let's go over here. Got an ant way out there. Oh, I wish, I wish, I wish I would have brought the grenade launcher. Come on. And yes, guys, just like in other EDF games, the roll does make you get to your destination faster. Okay, I got a problem with this ant. He's supposed to be trying to kill me. Yet, he is evading me. Where did you go? Alright, I know you're here. There you are. Gotcha. Man. Alright, let's see if we gain new weapons. <laughs> well, I eat my words. Uh, I said that you... When you first start out, you get something new pretty much every mission. Uh, that's mission three, and I didn't get anything. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's missions one through three. I'm going to be doing probably three missions at a time, just like I did for 4.1. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below. And as always, guys, take care, God bless, and keep on gaming.